Hey there YouTube, what's up? This is me Dante again with yet another tutorial. This time is going to be for the Nintendo DS. Um Death Mume Um Emulator and the Pokemon Black slash White emulator. So um let's begin shall we? But first off I'm gonna say this. Um be sure to download the the uh Death Mume um the Death Mume emulator, the uh, Seven Zip or WinRAR, but I'll be using Seven Zip because it's easier for me. Use um, and also uh, just follow through and whatever I forgot now I'll just put it in later. So let's begin. After you download the uh, Pokemon Black or White, and you download it WinRAR or Seven Zip. And um, the other thing you're going to do is you're going to go to wherever you, where I put my um, my files into my um, my Odess Lume folder, and then you can see I have Pokemon Black V7 right there. Now you're wondering what to do with the file. So what you're going to do is uh, go to Seven Zip. And you can extract here, and it's going to be right here in this in the same destination, you not know, in the same area where the RAR file is. Or you can extract to uh, Pokemon Black's V7, or whatever the name of the RAR file is. But just for the sake of time, I already have it done. As you can see you will you should get some you, you will get a file like this. So what's next you ask? Now that you already have it opened up, this is what we do next. Open up your um emulator, your desk movement emulator. Be sure to get the most recent be sure to get the latest emulator. Now what's next? Okay, let's go. Or also be sure to figure out what um, what type of uh, graphics your computer has, whether it's a 32 or 64-bit system. Mine is a 64-bit system, so um, obviously that's why it says the X64. Anyway, what you're going to do now, I bet you're wondering what to do with the uh, NDS files. Go to your open ROM, and then search for the destination or the place where you had extracted your um, Pokemon or whatever game you have it, the Nintendo DS ROM you have after that you click open it might take a few seconds but it'll work regardless you can see it's coming along like beautifully um, there's not really many problems. Wait a second. Gosh, I love when I'm like this. Just to let you guys know, it's slowing down because of the emulator, so... Keep your pants on. And other than that, that's how you do it. Um, not really that other things really. That's pretty much it. Um, any question, just ask me. You know, I'm I'm easy to reach. You can either catch me here. Um, you know, you can catch me here on YouTube. You can catch me on Twitter, Facebook. All of that's going to be well, obviously the Twitter, Facebook pages will be in the description box below or whatever YouTube decides to move it at when they decide to move it again other than that that's pretty much it guys be sure to click that red button up not the red the yellow button up there the subscribe button check out my channel for Mugen um, videos if you don't know what Mugen is be sure to check it out um, that's pretty much it guys uh, take care as you can say back in my high school days, breathe easy. Breathe easy. Uh, 
thanks you guys for watching oh and also one more thing just want you guys to know if you have like an older Pokemon Black or Pokemon uh, White ROM and you, you're planning to use the newest one and you're trying to use a save state don't use a save state if you use a save state what will happen is the game will actually hang if you try to talk to someone or if you uh, need the location or if you do anything for that matter except for walk around so um what you want to do is save the game using the last uh, patch you use so my last one was v uh, version 6 so I saved the game with version 6 and then I switched to I used the version 7 ROM and loaded the game with that and then it will work like that um so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching and uh stay tuned for more tutorials um yeah that's pretty much it or I don't want to repeat myself too many times but alright guys see you guys